Hey Libras, welcome to my YouTube channel, Revolution. Welcome guys, I'm so happy to have you all here to all the new subscribers as well as the old ones. Um, guys, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you watch this tarot reading, it will relate with you. This is a general reading, so don't make it fit if it's not your story, okay? And welcome to all the cross watchers who are watching for Libra, okay? In case you're dealing with your Libra person, you're more than welcome. Uh, guys, so let's let's see. This is a new spread that I'm doing for you guys. This is about how you can communicate better with your partner. Okay, so uh, sometimes you know we have separation and we are not in contact with our partner, and we want to know what's going on in their head and how you can communicate better so that we can mend things. Okay, and so that we don't leave things in a way that we don't have the closure or we have disappointments. Right. So I don't know why I wanted to speak this with you because none of the readings have this extra bit of information. So maybe you guys needed it more because there is a certain level of separation going on with the, between you and your person okay whenever you're watching this so let's see how you can communicate better with your partner okay my loves so first i'm gonna see how you see this connection between your pa partner and you i have already shuffled the deck okay and this is for libra sun moon rising venus and north node in case you don't know how to see your sign please check in the description box below i have given all the information as to how you can do that how you can see all your signs also if you wish to donate donate uh, I don't know why I said Jonate. Maybe there's uh, whoever you're dealing with, their name starts with J or Jeanette or J. I don't know why I'm seeing J. Okay. So your initial or their initial might have J in it. Okay. But nevertheless, uh, if you wish to donate to this channel, the link to my PayPal is given below. As well, if you want a free reading with me, you can donate any deck to me from Amazon wishlist link that is given below in the description. And you get to give me. Uh, that deck and you get a free 15 minute reading okay per deck so if two decks then you get two 15 minute two 15 minute sessions which is 30 minutes okay so let me know in case you guys are interested all right so let's see my loves what's going on what's going on so how does libra see the connection between them and their partner right now hmm, there is some turbulence here is what i'm sensing okay so three of wands i'm not taking the other card but three of wands okay so right off the bat, Libra, I feel like um, you're waiting, okay? You're waiting very passionately to hear from this person. You're waiting to hear back. You're waiting for whatever work that you have put into the connection. You're waiting to get that back in return from this person, okay? You're waiting to hear a reply or you're expecting a reply from this person or you're expecting communication from this person, okay? I see you waiting, okay? That's how you're seeing this connection. It's You're seeing this connection as something that you have to keep on waiting for this person to come back or to respond or to communicate with you, okay? This person keeps you waiting in some way, okay? Okay, cool. But you, you seem very passionate towards it though. So let's see. How does your person, how does Libra's person see this connection between them and their person? By the way, this could be your person as well, Libra, and you could be on the other side, okay? So take it, take whichever story relates with you the most. So, how does Libra's person see the connection between them and Libra? Okay. So, hair of fun, but it wanted to go in reverse, okay? And I have another card, which I'm not going to take, of course. So, yeah, this person... I, I see this person as not having any stability within this relationship, okay? So the other person in this connection sees this person as not being commitment material or either they want to have an unconventional relationship and unconventional relationship uh, with you, okay, within this situation. Or this could be a person who um, is kind of disrespectful, doesn't respect you as much as you respect them, okay? Or you care for them in some way. Okay, that energy is not reciprocated, like reciprocated back to you is what I'm sensing. Okay, this person might have Taurus somewhere in their chart or fire sign Aries Leo. Aries specifically is what I'm seeing. Okay, Aries and Taurus. So Aries, Taurus, Cuspo maybe. Okay, all right. Okay, so they see this connection as non-committal or that they don't have to commit to this connection. Okay, like for a long term. All right. Uh, what do you want? What does Libra want from this connection between them and their partner? Oh, yes. So you want the lovers. You want you want an equal relationship. You feel like this is a destined partnership, something that the divine guided towards you. And for sure this is, okay? For sure, because I'm seeing major arcanas here. So I feel like you want harmony within this connection. You want balance where, you know, you equally give and take to each other, okay? Uh, this could be an interracial relationship or could be a same-sex relationship is also what I'm getting here. But yeah, um, this person might have tattoos somewhere on, on their body or you do, okay? Or someone has dreadlocks also, is what I'm sensing. But yeah, 
I feel like you want an equal, reciprocated, and balanced relationship, Libra. Okay, and you guys rule balance, right? So yeah, I I can see you, and uh, you might have Gemini also somewhere in your chart, or they might. Okay, but yeah, you are totally in love with them, and um, that's what you want them to feel as well. Yeah, beautiful. You want them to give that same energy back to you. What does your person want within this connection? What does Libra's person want from this connection? Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this person feels like you know, um, like they want to block any form of movement in this connection. They want to block the energy off, or they have like ghosted you, or they feel like the relationship is very slow for them, or slow moving, or that they are bored. I don't know why I'm getting their bored of the movement within the connection. This person seems like a very spoiled person, Libra. Okay, but yeah, they 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 want to block this connection. Okay, they don't want to be in this connection anymore, or they want to they want to slow down the connection a little bit because they don't feel respected. Like, is your intelligence like intimidating them, or this could be you as well? Okay. You could be wanting to do this, and they feel like this. They are waiting for you to respond, and they want an equal reciprocation, right? So either side, just take it how it relates with you. Uh, I'm getting heavy Sagittarius vibes, and Taurus and Aries vibes, and Gemini, okay? With your person or you, all right? Okay, so let's see what are your fears then, okay? So what is Libra's fears within this connection with your with this person? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What is Libra's fears within this connection with their person? Oof, yes, of course. So you're scared of a heartbreak, okay? You don't want another like another like hurtful situation with another person. You're done, right? You're done with the heartbreak, the pain that it causes you, and you know you don't want to be numb anymore to to um, love. Basically, you don't want to be numb to love anymore, okay? And yeah, that's what you are fearing here, that this person will break your heart, even though you love them a lot, is what I'm sensing. You are fearing that this person will cheat on you, that this person will put you in a third-party situation, and that's why they are avoiding you, right? But this person is very non-committal Libra, okay? They are very non- like, they don't respect other people, okay? And they play with others, okay? They are trying to block this connection, like, they're trying to block movement within this connection. That's why they keep you waiting, okay? Because they know that they have you, they know that they... Um, have your love or they have your respect or things like that that's why they give you that energy the opposite energy so that you feel like you're hooked onto them or that you know you keep waiting for them again and again or something it's their tactic in some way okay let me see what are this person's fears tell me about libra's person's fears i want one more card here tell me about libra's person's fears within this connection with libra what is libra's person's fears wow Okay. So this person is kind of scared of uh they're they're scared of you being so independent minded and so liberated that you just, you know, go down there and start your own business or your you know, just stop depending on them completely in any way, shape or form, okay? And you regain your emotional strength and your um your emotional intelligence basically okay and you um completely ghost them forever like this is what this person is scared of about this connection that you um like stop showing them your cards your emotions your feelings towards them and you completely go like ghost okay and they never see you again so this person is scared of losing you hence they are playing games with you to keep you here okay and because you keep replying to them, responding to, to them, wanting to know what's happening with them, you know, you give them that energy that scares them or this is a person who lacks self-love Libra, like totally, okay? This is a water sign for sure, okay? Water sign or a fire sign is what I'm seeing, but yeah, this person is scared that you will look attractive to other people, that you will start dating other people because you're so attractive and you get a lot of attention from other people and that you're having fun without them, okay? They, they're scared of you having fun without them. Is what I'm sensing, okay? This person might also see you as somewhat in the esoterica or somewhat... You might have a black cat, by the way, so they might be scared of, like, you being a witch in some way. I don't know why I'm getting that, but yeah, that's that's what it is. Or you might be a musician, okay? That's why you get a lot of, like, uh, attention on you, which is what causes them to feel, like, inferior to you or... Um, yeah, you might be in the public eye in some way, okay? You might be in the creative field, like I said. 
okay so let's see uh, libra how you can rectify the situation okay how you can communicate better with this person so that you know things are a win win for you both okay so how can libra communicate better with their partner to rectify the situation for a win win for both how can libra rectify the situation with their person for a win win for both what how can they communicate better i mean i can't teach you how to communicate better libra you are the best communicator of the zodiac <laughs> but i'm still seeing okay so let's see ooh page of wands so yeah i mean you uh you need to tell them that they need to grow up is what i'm sensing okay because they already see you as someone who is um okay so okay okay one second so they see you as someone who is very very uh who already has it all uh you know in their life okay so you need to you need to look a bit immature to them is what i'm sensing okay okay that's what it is so you need to like uh, be a little more immature to them rather than being so serious about life in some way or so serious about your goals i don't know like that's what you you're supposed to look a bit immature okay and message them very passionately like bring the passion back in the relationship or something okay and tell them that you know that you want to do like you want to go on an adventure or you know you want to do something funny silly or something on those lines hangman oh okay so but the the problem with that libra is you know that you will feel stuck within the situation because you will feel like you are sacrificing a part of yourself by doing that okay so there's a pro and con to it like you you can do that to make them feel better but uh, the only thing that's going to cause is is going to cause a stalemate within your situation again because you will have to dumb yourself down for this person in some way okay because they are, they are not grown up enough okay and i see you as the king of cups someone who is in control of their emotions and uh, doesn't show their emotions easily okay So yeah, how can you communicate better with this person? So I'm I'm seeing that you need to ask them to shift their point of view about the situation. Like try something different rather than being in the same old same old. I'm trying to uh one second, seven of swords here. Like uh with I just wanted to go in reverse for sure. So I feel like, you know, uh if i i feel like you know you guys keep going back to the past in some way like you know in the past this happened or that happened which causes a lot of pain uh for you both because you feel like this person will break your heart again but you're still giving them a chance in some way so you have to tell them that you know uh getting in touch with you again is only causing a stalemate in your in my life because we keep revisiting the past again and again and either you complain about it or they complain about it okay like revisiting the crimes of the past and keep complaining about that again and again right and you want to heal want to heal from that situation okay you you don't want you you want healing and you want uh, to be vulnerable okay but at the same time it's like even though situation had to end maybe in the past okay and whatever happened between you and them this person cheated lied or you know i don't know whatever that they did that they you know that caused you a lot of pain and heartbreak you know you don't want to go through that again so you need to be open about that with this person uh, libra this person might have aquarius somewhere in their chart or you might okay but uh, also i'm seeing pisces as well but yeah revisiting the crimes of the past is something that you guys also need to speak about so that uh, you know things are not in a stalemate anymore like you feel like whenever you reach out to them you know this person is always has something to complain about or they victimize themselves in their situation and that's not going to work with you anymore okay because they already see you as someone who's very very independent minded focused on your creativity and that scares them okay that intimidates them so you need to tell them like reach out to them and tell them that you know this is definitely a stalemate and that i don't want to keep revisiting everything anymore like all the past shit that has happened between us and that you know even if things have happened we can talk about it get over it and move on rather than keep quacking about it all the time <laughs> <laughs> Look at that crow like whack 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 right I'm sorry I had to do that but like yeah that's what I'm seeing it's causing a stalemate okay the passion has stopped this person has stopped the passion because they see you being like glorious okay but this person also lacks a lot of confidence and your confidence intimidates them libra okay whichever libra is watching this i think you have gemini or uh, aries leo sagittarius somewhere in your chart as well okay like you intimidate this person and they see you are like you know you don't want to look at them as a distant hope is what i'm sensing like you don't want them to uh keep you at a distance or something okay you want to heal the situation so that's how you need to open up to them about that if you keep doing this if you keep blocking the relationship if you keep being disrespectful towards me because i intimidate you then we might as well take our own space and drift apart okay 
rather than uh, continuing this because it's not going anywhere. It's only causing us both heartache and pain and loss. Okay, that's what I'm sensing here. Beautiful. And let's heal from the situation together. Let's just move forward and look at our future in a more brighter and positive manner. Right? All right. So let's see what's the advice for you guys, my loves. I hope this re resonated with you. If it did, please do comment below and let me know who this person is who's trying to do the these immature games. Okay. All right. Let's see. So give me an advice for Libra pertaining to the spread. Give me an advice for Libra pertaining to the spread. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Give me an advice, please. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. Yes. Solitude. You know, I feel like uh, in the past you felt smothered by this person in some way, okay? And even though you felt smothered, there was no way that this person was letting you know everything about their past or everything about their life, which is what caused you to uh, take a step back from this person, okay? Even though there is a lot of love and you want that reciprocity and equal give and take within this relationship and harmony, I feel like, you know, you had to take some uh, a step back from this person because, um, you know, there is a lot that this person was hiding and that's something that you did not relate with or resonate with okay yeah solitude and pleasure so i feel like they held back a lot of uh, uh, physical intimacy with you as well in order to control you or tame you in some way so that you know you keep wanting them more and more like i was getting that hooking vibes right like wanting to hook you in into it so let me read this for you one second all right so sacred island islands are bodies of land surrounded by water they can be in an atoll or a river basin. However, the ocean surrounds most islands. They can be massive with their own unique verdant ecosystems, or they can be small and barren. The terrain can be flat or mountainous. They can be a detachment from the mainland through erosion, or they can arise from the sea through volcanic activity. The thing that is universal in all islands is their isolation, and many cultures assign mystical symb symbolic meaning to particular islands. They are thought to be the resting places of gods and thus are used for sacred purposes. Spend some time alone. In your life, this means to take your own counsel rather than relying on the opinions and dictates of others. Break away from the crowd. Be on your own. This card also speaks of self-resourcefulness, self-reliance and tenacious individuality. If you are working on a project, trust your instincts and follow your own lead. Your creativity is at its peak. Let it flow. If you are in a relationship that is disempowering, yes, this card suggests that it is time to step away. Take time to reassess your life. In solitude, you will thrive. This card also suggests safe haven, a sacred womb for incubation and self-transformation. So like I said, it's a time of taking some time apart from this person because this person is just trying to play some very, very uh, negative uh, mind games in order to keep you stuck, okay? And uh, with some solitude, you will regain your peace, your confidence, and you will finally be able to know what this person was doing to you in your life, right? Beautiful. And this is definitely a very disempowering relationship. Like, it's a stalemate that is being caused because of this person's childish behavior, is what I'm sensing. Okay? Alright. So now, guys, I'm adding a new thing to my reading. So this is only for air science. I'm reading a page of the quantum physics book. In case you want to buy it, you can buy it. It's a quantum physics in minutes by Gemma Lavender, okay? In case you're interested, just stay, okay? And I'm doing it only for air science because you guys are really um, cerebral, right? You're very cerebral. So let's read another experiment about quantum physics, okay? Because we are in a new world in the age of Aquarius and I'm an Aquarius, so yes, I love all this. All right, so let's read. The Michelson-Morley experiment. Thomas Young's proof that light is a wave implied that the light-carrying medium or aether proposed by Huygens must be real too, yet 19th century scientists struggled to detect it. In 1887, the American physicists Albert Michelson and Edward Morley set out to settle the question using an ingenious and highly sensitive experiment. Theory held that the aether was stationary in space, so Earth's motion would result in the speed of light appearing faster in the direction of motion compared to a perpendicular direction. Michelson and Morley built a device called an inferometer to send beams of light from a single source along perpendicular paths before reflecting and recombining them. If the speed of light varied between the paths, then the returning waves would slip out of phase with one another, creating a pattern of interference fringes that shifted over time. 
but try as they might michelson and morley found the speed of light was the same in all directions the aether did not exist so how could light be a wave hmm. so then light is not a wave according to the experiment so this is the young's double split experiment here and monochromatic single color light source that's the barrier with two narrow slits here and that's the interference forms okay and look at that secret geometry of lights being formed right after the two slits right and diffracted waves spread out and overlap so they overlap each other with destructive interference where waves hit screen out of step and constructive interference where peaks and throws arrive in step hmm interesting so if you guys want to know more because this is just in minutes so this is just one page of the experiments experiments if you want to know more then you can research about it for sure wow beautiful so that's something for your general knowledge not even general but something very very scientific yes so thank you so much libra in case you want a reading with me please uh, go to my description box you will get all the details there about how to book a reading a private reading with me and please let, uh, comment down below like share and subscribe share it with all your friends on your social media to all the libras as well um you know and help them out also uh, if you guys wish to donate a deck with me then you get a free reading okay so get in touch with me and let me know in case you want to get a 15 minute free reading you can gift a deck for that all right so thank you so much and love you guys peace